Imagine a world where you have impaired cognitive function, weak tendons, muscles, and bones, and a lack of effective stress management. In this world, you're in a wheelchair by the time you hit 75. Now imagine you're 75, but play catch with your grandkids in the park and hike with your friends on weekends. In this second world, you've been harnessing the power of running on the treadmill for as little as 20 minutes three times per week. I'll explain these benefits in a second, backing them all with the most recent research, which you can find links to in the description box. But before we begin, like this video and subscribe to the FitnessD channel for more science-backed content. Let's start. 1. Enhanced Cognitive Function Running is intense. You breathe faster and your heart pumps more blood. That means your brain gets a significant boost of blood flow. This increased circulation has been linked to improved cognitive functions. Many studies show that regular aerobic running, in particular, can enhance memory, attention, and problem-solving skills. Side note, it's wise to distinguish aerobic running, which occurs in the presence of oxygen, from anaerobic running, which occurs in the absence of oxygen. That brings us to the next point. 2. Optimal Fat Loss According to Livestrong, running burns between 240 and 375 calories in 30 minutes if you run 5 to 7.5 miles per hour. Sprinting on the treadmill can help you burn even more calories, and that will bring you to the anaerobic zone. Now, here's the thing. You won't be able to maintain that fast pace for long because being in the anaerobic zone forces your body to burn calories in the absence of oxygen. But alternating fast and slow running intervals is actually great if your goal is fat loss. Running on the treadmill at a pace that keeps your heart rate in the 60-70% to 70 zone entails using the aerobic energy system. And when this happens, your body mainly uses fat as fuel, along with oxygen and some glycogen. Plus, alternating between fast and slow running intervals creates the so-called oxygen dead or afterburn effect. That's because your body requires 24 to 72 hours to return to homeostasis after the intense effort, during which time it needs more oxygen. And this extra oxygen consumption accelerates your metabolism, helping you burn more calories even when you're resting. But hey, won't all that calorie burning make you lose muscle mass? Watch the next section to find out, but the short answer is no. 3. Muscle Building Many people who want to build muscle mass avoid cardio, especially high-intensity cardio, like running. But instead of deprecating cardio, if your goal is to pack more muscle and weight, use it as a weapon. Running on the treadmill at a slow to moderate pace burns your fat stores, and that improves your body composition. That's the first win. Secondly, cardio improves blood flow, cardiovascular health, and lung capacity. All that means more blood, oxygen, and nutrients reach your muscles. So running helps your muscles grow bigger and faster with less recovery time. Win 2. Thirdly, running on the treadmill burns calories. That gives you the chance to eat more lean protein to replace this caloric deficit. And those extra proteins are precisely what your muscles need to grow faster. 4. Improve joint flexibility and strength. Many people mistakenly believe that running on the treadmill damages your joints. But that's actually not the case. Treadmill running can enhance joint flexibility and strength, particularly in the knees and hips. The reason is that you're placing some mechanical stress on your joints, so your ligaments and bones strengthen. It's the same as with any plyometric type of training. The secret, however, is to not start running on already damaged joints. In this case, you can simply start with walking. Also, remember to maintain the proper form during your run. Don't hunch forward or back and land softly on your feet to prevent joint pain. 5. Tendon Strength Running on a treadmill can significantly strengthen tendons, which are crucial for joint stability and movement efficiency. Many studies found that regular running stimulates collagen synthesis in tendons, enhancing their strength. This is particularly important for activities requiring sudden movements or changes in direction as strong tendons are less prone to injuries. Moreover, treadmill running allows a controlled environment to gradually increase intensity, which is ideal for building tendon resilience without overstraining them. All that tendon strength will benefit you when you're old and gray, when you finally go on that hike you always wanted, roughhouse your kids, or when you're in the gym trying to lift heavier weights. 6. Blood Sugar Regulation 
Running on the treadmill can also regulate blood sugar levels. According to multiple studies, moderate intensity running can improve insulin sensitivity and aid in managing type 2 diabetes. This is particularly good for individuals looking to control their blood sugar levels through non-medical means. If you've been diagnosed or are at risk of diabetes, a simple 20 minutes of running on the treadmill per day can save you a heap of trouble. 7. Mental Health Benefits Besides physical health benefits, treadmill running also offers mental health advantages. Studies show that regular aerobic exercise, like running on the treadmill, significantly reduces symptoms of depression and anxiety. The rhythmic nature of running, combined with the physical exertion, promotes the release of endorphins, which are natural mood lifters. Plus, running promotes mindfulness, which helps clear your head and put things into perspective. And you'll feel really accomplished after your run. That's the dopamine surge you're feeling. So, ride the wave of motivation well into your day. Now that we're here, I hope you liked this video and maybe even learned something new. So, will you start running on the treadmill or are you already doing it? Remember to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and let's move the chat to the comments.